Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on the Hunter Colour Wild, we're here to do a recap on Jaxi Bird Stream that's just gone out. I thought I'd do this, let you know about some of the meat and veg of this update, and it's got some very good things to talk about. So, Emerald Coast, Australia. Here we are for the first time. Jaxi was just shown a little bit of what it looks like, the plant life, the topography. Do you know what I mean? Just the general layout of some of the areas he roamed about for a little while we've seen kangaroos for the first time but he wasn't really focusing much on species um because there's still work to do but he did give us a lot of great detail so let's go over them now so emerald coast australia no release date yet but they did say it was very close similar size to other maps he will give us the exact size when he has it the details there will be remastered furs for red deers fallow deers and feral goats but because of this they're going to be population resetted now a lot of people don't like to hear that but it just has to happen when things get updated tweaked you don't need to tell me i'm like nearly six thousand red deers on a grind so i can't wait to see what they look like also two species the springbok and the euro and plains bison will be getting true racks so they will be getting population resets as well. Obviously, that has to happen because they're getting true wrecks. Alligators too. The reason for alligators is they've had some behavior changes. So you'll see them and they're going to be more aggressive now, like saltwater crocs. So a lot more fun hunting. That's that's brilliant. That's ideally what I wanted to happen um, with alligators when they came out. I wanted them to chase you or come at you, make it more fun. And uh, it seems that's what they're doing. Also, bobcats are having their population reset for drinking need zone time. So, the total animals that's getting population resets with this update, red deer, fallow deer, feral goats, springbok, euro and plains bisons, alligators and bobcats. So, that's the entire list of what's getting population resets. We also get in a new gameplay feature and it's customization of tents and ground blinds now we'll take a look at that in a minute but uh, i was so over the moon to see this a lot more customization is coming to the hunter caller wild and i can't wait for more to come but uh, let's have a look at it shall we this is the map for emerald coast australia Jax was explaining that he can only go to these sort of two parts he don't want to show too much yet because there's a lot of work still going on but this is the actual map of Emerald Coast and what it looks like. You can see there's like a coastal area on the right. And he was walking around some sort of like a deserty farmland sort of area. And he did show off one of the outposts right at the start. But there seem to be like kangaroos around here. We spotted some feral goats. It'll be interesting to see what the other areas look like. Here's this aerial view from when he got an outpost. But it does look really nice and it looks like they put an extra bit of effort into this map. And Jackson did say they're trying to make this an absolute banger. So I hope it is. Australia is one of the most requested maps in the Hunter Call of Wild. So it'll be interesting to see how it hunts. Right, on to tent customization and ground line customization. So here's Jaxi showing us for the first time. Didn't expect this, but now we've got customization in Call of Wild. What would you like customizing? Drop it in the comments. Your top, top, top one choice, we'll say. But as you can see, very simple to use. And it's going to be very useful because a lot of people like playing around, making their own stuff. So giving their own identity. So, yeah, it's really good. Can't wait to see this in-game. And like I say, it's not just a new map. We've got a new great one, Fallow Deer. We've got new customizations. We're going through the details as we talk. But there's pages and pages, Jax was saying, that he hadn't even got yet of changes to Call of Wild. So there's so much in this update. It's a really big one. And hopefully it's not too long. He did say soon. Uh, he did say it's not up to certification yet. So that normally takes a few weeks. So it depends how long that goes and then on to that. So maybe in a month or, or less. We shouldn't be too long. Jaxi also confirmed that decoys are coming out for magpie geese in this update so that's how you're gonna be hunting them 223 is getting a buff that is a massive one when the 223 first come out a lot of people complained that it was very weak and I actually tested this quite a lot myself i was going out shooting whitetail at like over 400 meters 
I did manage to get some at over 400 meters, but it was really hard. Um, you have to be very precise of it. So it's getting a buff now, so it will be stronger, and that's a highly requested tweak. So a lot of people will be very happy with that. Also, we've got the Leighton Lakes cosmetic pack in this update. Well, I'll take a look at that in a second. On PC, they've changed the UI button from C to U, as it was confusing people. That's a nice tweak. Because it's bank holiday next week, there will not be a stream. But the following week after, there will be a big stream. And Jackie says, do not miss that one because it's going to be a big one. We've also got a new outfit. We've got the 22-250 Varmint rifle, new rifle. We've got two multi-mounts, two new ones. Um, content creators will probably be getting early access as well. He was talking about there's no release date yet. But he said it's close. So lots of things to think about and can't wait to just get on there and hunt and kill some of these kangaroos <laughs> and saltwater crocs i think they're the two i'm most looking for what species are you most looking for let me know all about it in the comments what your top two species on australia emerald coast i want to know what they are what you're going after first are you just going to hunt just roam around hunt let me know in the comments well here's a two two three and the reason we're looking at this is because obviously it's getting a buff, it's going to get stronger. But not only that, there's the new cosmetic pack I was just talking about for Leighton Lakes. So we're going to have a look at that right now. We're just waiting for Jaxi to pull it up. But uh, it looks really nice. I like the premium skin on it especially. But this is coming out along with the update. So there you go. They're adding more of these to different items. And the more customization we get, <laughs> the merrier, that's what I say. So there you go, that's the stream recap for this week. Hope it helps you out, saves you a bit of time, give you the meat and veg of what we expect to come. What do you think? What do you like best from what you've seen or heard? Let me know about it. Like I say, Emerald Coast, the first things I'm going for is kangaroos and saltwater crocodiles. Can't wait to hunt them and um, try out the new rifle, the 22-250 varmint rifle. What will we be using that on? It'll be interesting to see. So I'm Robert Tube. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.